This is the high press membrane pressure scenario. Um, we'll set up by putting a new blood gas display on the CDI monitor. The scenario will have a story that the patient has moved due to light sedation and generated uh, a kink that the student will have to find. We will generate a false pressure, so we will see the pressures go from about the 200s up to 300s by using the simulated pressure transducers. We'll also change the pressure threshold in our system to be 400 so that we can have the pressure rise and then ultimately exceed it and stop the pump. And then we'll also draw some volume from the hidden uh, portfolio to have the blood flow slow down so that we'll simulate the changes that would be seen if a cannula were keyed. This is day three for a two-month-old who presented with VTAC unresponsive to medical intervention. He was found to have anomalous pulmonary venous return. He's awake and sedated, calm and quiet. The nurse has just completed his assessment with a diaper change. And I'll be your nurse for this scenario to be available. Great. I'm just going to alarm on the pump already. Fix the diaper a little bit more here. I didn't take it quick enough. No, my post membrane pressure is really high. It's up around 400 okay. and it used to be 250. And flow has dropped a lot. Oh, okay. Down to 150 of flow. The pressure's down and he's desatting. Um, I think we have some high post membrane blood pressure. Let's call the doc. Let okay. me call the ECMO doc. Do we need another ECMO doctor in here. Should I go to emergency? Yeah, let me look at this, the, the arterial side and see if I can find okay. what's going on. I'm going to look under the pressure bandage. Oh, there's a big kink in the cannula, okay. on the arterial cannula. Okay. Do we need to come off? or? I think we're okay. Let me okay. just try and straighten it a little and see okay. if that helps. Okay, looks like that's it. Should I give volume? Coming back up? I think we're doing better. Okay. Good job. Uh, you hit all the key elements. You did a circuit check. You called for help. Um, you checked the catheters and you ultimately found the kink in the arterial cannula. You recognized that the problem had to have been downstream from the oxygenator. Um, you also had some discussion about the patient's positioning and the need to give volume and other essential things that would be clinically relevant. Uh, that one was a little more stressful. How did that you was. feel? It was a little stressful, but I thought our communication was really good, trying to solve the problem.